An old man struggled as he walked through the dirt filled streets of Medina. He took turns taking his heavy staff and pulling it out of the dirt as he walked. His old age made the walk slower and more difficult. He had almost lost all his energy as the burning sun of Medina made the desert ground radiate with heat. He paused and wiped the sweat off his face as he walked to the village. He looked down every street and cried out over and over again with a dry mouth. Bakir, Bakir, where are you? I must see you. He continued on his way, but it was as though the streets had become longer. The more he walked, the further it seemed. The old man wanted to see Imam Bakir so much he could hardly wait. Oh, where is he? he thought desperately. After hours of searching, the old man finally leaned against the wall of the house and sat down. He could not go any further. He was just too tired and worn out. Just then, he saw a dry branch that had fallen from a date tree as he picked it up and looked at it. He was reminded of a green palm tree that used to stand tall in the city of Medina. Fifty years ago, Prophet Muhammad sat near a palm tree and said to him, O oh, Jabir, you will live in this world for such a long time that you will get to know my grandson, the fifth Imam. His name will also be Muhammad. Out he will be known as Al-Bakir. When you see him, please give him my salams because I will no longer be among you during those days. Jabir had never forgotten his name and since that day, he has never stopped looking for Imam Bakir. However, on that hot and tiring day, as Jabir sat on the step, exhausted from all his walking, a strange feeling suddenly overcame him. He wondered, what if I never get the chance to see him? I'm so old. What if I die before I get to meet him? But wait, the Prophet of Allah never told lies. His promises are always true. If he has told me that I will see Imam Bakir, then I will definitely see him, even if there is only one day left in my life. Jabi dug the tip of his staff back into the ground and held onto it with two hands as he struggled to stand back up. He continued walking slowly again, this time determined not to give up. While still calling out, Bakir, Bakir, where are you, Bakir? As he was walking, the door of one of the houses suddenly swung open and a beautiful child walked out with his father. The bright heavenly face of the father caught Jabir's attention. As Jabir moved closer, he recognized that this man was Imam Sajjad. Jabir said, Salamu alaykum, O son of Rasulullah, and kissed the hand of the Imam out of respect. He then looked down at the face of the beautiful child and all of a sudden he became very still. You see, this child looked so much like the Prophet. He knew the Imam had many children, but he wondered to himself, could this be him? He signaled for the boy to come closer and kindly requested, can you please come here? Jabir let go of his staff and gently held on to the shoulders of the child with both hands. He stared into the face of the child and said, Dear child, please turn around so that I may take a good look at you. Jabir then turned to Imam Sajjad and said, I swear to Allah. He looks just like Rasulullah. He stared into the eyes of the child and asked, What is your name? The young child answered politely, My name is Muhammad. Jabir became even more shocked and asked, what is your title? The child responded, It is Al-Bakir. I am the one who will split and spread the knowledge to people. Jabir's knees went weak and he slowly fell to the ground and hugged the boy close to his chest. Tears gathered in his eyes and he exclaimed, May my life be sacrificed for you. You are Imam Bakir. May my mother and father be sacrificed for you. Yes, I am Al-Bakir. Please tell me the message that you have from my grandfather, the Prophet of Allah. 
Jabber was startled that the little boy knew about the message and quickly began to explain. My master, your grandfather Rasulullah told me that one day I would have the honor of meeting you. He told me that when I meet you, I should give you his salams. Imam Bakir took the tired old hands of Jabir into his own and with a gentle voice said, Peace be upon the messenger of Allah until the earth and skies remain. Salam upon you, O Jabir, as you have given me the salams of the Prophet of Allah. Jabir spent the entire day watching the young Imam play. Even in his play, Jabir knew that this was a very different and special child. The day gradually came to an end and Jabir gave the Imam his respects and asked for permission to leave. As Jabir walked home happily, he thanked Allah for the blessing of meeting Imam Bakir, the one who would spread and split the knowledge. As the years passed and Imam Bakir grew older, Allah blessed him by allowing him to be the Imam during a peaceful time. Therefore, Imam Bakir spent many years studying schools, masjids and universities. So you see, by spreading and splitting knowledge among believers, Imam Bakir spent his imamat spreading Islam from east to west.